pleasant day to all our math wizards. How are you today? I hope you are doing well and good. So let's have our first lesson for the opening of the school year. And for our math lesson, you are going to have your measurement and geometry. So are you ready? So come with me and let's start to explore the world of numbers. Our objectives for today's week is to illustrate and measure different angles. We have the right, acute, and obtuse angles using a protractor. To start off, can you answer this activity? So based on the figure below, so uh, I'm going to show you the figure after this slides. Give two pairs of parallel lines. Give a pair of intersecting lines. And give a pair of perpendicular lines. So you can just copy this questions or this or the one that you're going to answer. And then let's try to have the next slide. So for you to answer what is being asked in this slide. Okay, so please take note of this figure so that you can answer the one being asked in the previous slide. So it's just a quick review. I know very well that you all know this. Okay, and after doing so, let's have the next slide. So you can just pause this one for you to answer our uh, activity. Okay, so moving on, Meline, Juliet, and Angeline started doing their integrative performance task last Saturday. Meline started her task at 9 o'clock a.m., Juliet at 10 o'clock a.m., and Angeline at 12.45 p.m. Now, who started doing their integrative performance task last Saturday? Okay, so we have here the students Meline, Juliet, and Angeline. But the three of them started their integrative performance test in three different times. So we have um, 9 o'clock in the morning for Meline, 10 o'clock in the morning for Juliet, and 12.45 in the afternoon for Angeline. So, uh, what, at what time did Meline start the task? How about Juliet and Angeline? So, we start. Uh, we already answered that one a while ago. So, if you are going to show the time they started their task, how will you show it? So, this time, let's show the time that they started doing their task by showing you a clock. All right. So, but before that, let's read and define the following words. So, kindly take note of these um, terms. When two rays meet at the common end point, they form an angle. The common end point is called the vertex. So, the end point where they meet, and we call that the vertex. An angle is measured in degrees with the use of a protractor. So, as what I've said a while ago, so below is the picture of the clock based on the situation given. So, let's take a look at those clocks. Okay, so again, Meline started uh, started her integrative performance task at 9 o'clock in the morning, while Juliet started at 10 o'clock in the morning, 
and Angeline at 12.45 in the afternoon. So kindly uh, observe the hands of these clocks. Alright, by doing so, look at the hands of the clock. How many hands do it have? And what is being formed by the hands of the clock? Okay, so this one, we can say that this is Melino, no? for example, that is for around 9 o'clock. So we have angle DEA. Or D A E. The hands, or the hands of the clock, form an angle. Do you know that an angle is formed by two rays? In the figure a while ago, ray A E and ray A D meet at point A. So the common point is okay, the point A. Going back a while ago, we said that when two rays have a common endpoint, they form an angle. The common endpoint A is called the vertex. In this illustration, an angle can be named in three different ways. DAE is read as angle DAE. EAD is read as angle EAD. Okay. So one is read one is read as angle one. An angle is measured in degrees with the use of a protractor. So well you are when you are using a protractor, so you can uh, tell what degree of the angle is. So in this picture, this is an example of a protractor. And you can see, so the degree is starting from 0 to 180 degrees. And the middle one is the 90 degrees. And when you turn it around, you can have the 360 degrees or you can form a circle. Now, let's have the classification or types of angles. So, angles can be classified according to their measurement. So, when we say right angle, it measures 90 degrees and it forms a square corner. So, remember, when we say, 90, uh, when we say right angle, it measures 90 degrees. that one a okay, 90 degrees coming uh, can you see the 90 degrees at the middle okay and then the straight or the line below so you can you we can say that that is a right angle okay going back Meline started the task at nine o'clock in the morning the, hand, the hands of the clock, as shown, formed a right angle. Let's have the second type, acute angle. When uh, an angle measures less than 90 degrees, it is smaller than a right angle. So we call that acute angle. Okay, again, when an angle measures less than 90 degrees, it is called an acute angle. One example is um, this one. No? Juliet started the task at 10 o'clock in the morning. The hands of the clock as shown formed an acute angle.
And the last one is an obtuse angle. When an angle more measures more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees, we call that an obtuse angle. So this is an example. Angeline started the task at 12.45 in the afternoon. The hands of the clock are shown formed an obtuse angle greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Okay, now this time, can you tell what kind of angle is illustrated in the figure? Okay, so for example, number one, okay, so we are going to have the bottom part or the corner part of the pad paper. So we can see that that is a right angle. Okay, so if you have your protractor, you can use that as a basis. If this pictures shows a right angle, a or an acute angle, and, or, and an obtuse angle. Okay, so always remember when two rays meet at a common endpoint, they form an angle, and the common endpoint is called the vertex. An angle is measured in degrees with the use of a protractor and angles can be classified according to their measurement. So again, let's uh, repeat. Right angle measures exactly 90 degrees. It forms a square corner. Acute angle measures less than 90 degrees. It is smaller than a right angle. And an obtuse angle measures more than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. Alright, so it's time for you to have an activity. So based on the illustrations below, label as right, acute, or obtuse angle. So I definitely believe that you can do this on your own already. Okay, so kindly take note of this picture so that you can answer the activity. Alright, so kindly take note of this given angles and go back again to the picture of the given protractor so that you can tell whether it is an right angle, an obtuse angle, or an acute angle. Okay. So definitely, you can use a protractor to measure the angle. Describe the angle after measuring its degree. And if you have a protractor, you can definitely give the exact degrees of that angles. We have three figures here. So you can have it as your homework or you can do it as a situation. That's all for today for our first week in mathematics. I hope you enjoyed our lesson regarding angles and its classification. So thank you for being with me today or for this week. So I hope to be with you again next week. So I'm teacher Isa. Thank you and see you again. Bye!